Life is a winding road. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. And if you've been a subscriber, thank you. Um, I just want to go through this little mini home real quick because I am going to decorate for my kitchen for fall. And these are some items I have picked up or that I already had. Um, and if you hear the TV in the background, sorry guys, it's Sunday. Sunday football. So my husband's watching the football game. Okay. But anyway, I just, these, um, Drew Barrymore items my husband been bought me them and i still haven't put them up and he's like okay it's time for you to put them out and i've been holding on to them so i can make up a video for y'all guys so yeah so it is i'm actually gonna put this out i did run to target real quick because i wanted to try out the new swiffer power map for wooden floors because i do have like wooden floors and I feel like, because I do mop like twice a week, um, I feel like my floors are starting to fade. So I figure why, you know, try something that it's for wooden floors. And guys, I cannot go to Target and not pick up um, Halloween items. <laughs> so I picked up this guy. It was, let's see, $20. And I want to put a candle inside. These items was on sale for $2.40. And um, this one was $4. And I really like how pretty and simple it is for my bathroom. So I'm going to add that. I got some essentials deodorant for my son. I have to put that in my car. That is um, for the power mop. Hopefully, I was like, it smells pretty good. It's lime, lemon. So, um, yes, I placed an order on Magnolium. I have wanted these um, oil and vinegar. Um, because I do have the canisters to match and so I picked up those so they were actually having a sale I only purchase when they having a sale and these um, salt and peppers I left them right in the little box um, that's how it looks it's so cute um, and guys look how freaking cute I purchased this a while ago and I still haven't put it up and I'm gonna put it in my kitchen this is old um i'm putting it in my kitchen as well with this little hollow pumpkin i do have other items i'm gonna be putting in my kitchen um like this is another this one from the what is it thrift hole studio mickey and i put this little like arrangement together it's like falling apart but you know you get the vibes <laughs> um so yeah guys if you wanna see how i decorate my kitchen for fall um keep watching so I am just switching out the sign. Um, I have had this Hello Pumpkin sign for a couple of years now and I just love it. So I decided to just add it to this wall. So this side of my counter, I am just removing the old um, toaster oven to replace it. It still works. I'm just going to clean it out real good and I guess put it on the yard sale for next year. You know, I do have teenagers, um, which <laughs> it's kind of hard to keep up with because they tend to just leave things as is. day as you can see I have a different shirt on but yes I have to keep um, this on this side of my counter because it's easier for, to use I also have to use aluminum foil on the bottom of this tray because it's easier to just like if something spilled just pick it up um, throw the aluminum away and just replace it So this is actually a canister from the three sets of the Magnolia Home collection I have and 
I never really used this big one so I said why not use it as a crock to use my utensils and I still use my Radon spoon holder does anyone else still use like the Radon items let me know down below in the comments If you don't know me, I mean, well, if you haven't been following me for a while, I love neutral colors. Um, I think everyone does by now. <laughs> I just like how clean, clean and simple it looks. I always say that. And as for this sign, this is like my little summer. I don't know. I want to say like I have done changed this up so many times, but this is the before. I decided to add this cute little jack-o'-lantern um i would i wasn't sure if i should turn it around or just face it with the face because it's i want to say i kind of started adding some halloween decors already so i was like you know what i'm just gonna keep him facing this way because he looks cute struggling to cut this off um because the wire wasn't long enough for me to hide it behind the um pie case so and then this paper was just like hanging so i was like i'm just gonna cut it because i like adding little lamps or lamps all over my house um because in certain um rooms in my house i don't have um light fixtures on the wall I'm sorry, the ceiling. So I do have to, especially in my living room, I have to put lamps. But I love the cozy vibes feeling that a lamp gives to the whatever area you place it to. Even if I'm falling down, I will keep on searching for my highs. You can say I lost my mind, I will keep on holding my head high 
Even if the sky is falling down So like I added at the beginning I did pick up these three items online at the Magnolia Home website they were on sale so I was like I have to add it to my collection and right now I'm kind of um, struggling because <laughs> uh, I'm not sure how I want this but you will see I change it decided to add this wooden tray you wanna call? Life is a I, I forgot what's the name of it um i had a couple because <laughs> i did use them a lot of them in my wedding i had them on every table with centipedes um but yeah i was like i did keep some but i did end up selling most of them on favorite market but anyway um yeah i guess it's gonna do for now just like that and then so far everything's coming along even if i'm falling down i will keep on searching for my highs you can say i lost my mind i will keep on holding my head high even if the sky is falling so i did want to give it a pop of color and I decided to add this um, little hand towel here just to give it a pop of color. I really love pumpkins, anything pumpkins, and um, I really like it. Jumping from cliffs so high, trusting our wings to fly. Sometimes we're crashing down. So this is how this side turns out. As you can see, I swapped up the candle to add this one. It kind of goes with the hand towel and it smells amazing, guys. Like, I kind of want to say it throws more scent than the Bath and Body Works. No shade, but yes, I <laughs> want to say it's true. But I really love how this side of my counters came out. Let me know down below to do like what you see so far. Keep on holding my head high. So I decided why not fill my soul, <laughs> clean my soul, guys, because my soul tends to get nasty <laughs> every day. I use this Dawn Power Soap because, guys, it does the work. And I have to put gloves on because, uh, you know, your girl gets her nails done. And which one had broke? So I was like, you know what? let me just add these <laughs> gloves on and these are the items i use i usually scrape this works guys this really works if you have a stove like this um this little scraper does work I wanted to do a little close-up to show you guys how this actually like you have to put some muscle into it guys but it does the job <laughs>
look how beautiful and clean my stove looks when i tell you guys it works if you put some muscle into it <laughs> um and i just love how shiny and clean my stove looks so i decided to add this pumpkin from clark kirkland's that i have had it for a while now on the top of my stove i don't like adding a lot of things usually i just add like a candle or something just because i'm constantly we constantly all using the stove and i am just swapping this hand towel this one i have had for a while a while now um it's the redone one and i have the two sets i tried to not mess them up and i tell my kids don't mess it up because <laughs> i really love it but yep this is how it turned out and right here i just added this little salt and pepper shakers um from the thrift Hole collection from my want to say like two years um but this is how this side of my kitchen turned out Now for this side of my kitchen, I did cook breakfast that morning. So this is the mess from the morning. Um, once again, I have never tried filming myself clean before. And I was like, why not add it to this video, make it a little more extra fun. Um, but I just speed it up. And guys, as you can see, oh, my pots are just like tore up. Um, I literally cook every day. I use them all the time. My kids use them all the time. And this is uh, the outcome of them. They just don't stay looking pretty. people get sensitive of having the water running because i've done seen a lot of videos of a lot of ladies saying the same thing i do we actually do pay for water but it's just a habit of mine like i have to let it run like it just i don't know one day i will not <laughs> let the water run as i wash dishes so please don't come for me I had got gifted this um, space aid on Instagram from a company. As you can see, it kind of stays, well, because the soap 
stays on that side so it kind of stood like marked but it does um dries up the water pretty quick not as fast i want to say but it's okay it still ends up i mean dries up the water and then this is my dog treats canister i love that canister by the way and i am just switching his treats to this one um just because i love the pumpkin and it's full so i will be switching it well i am switching it for um the fall I like washing my dishes by hand I do let it run like once a month because I was told if not it will get messed up but then um, anyway on this side I just put my juicer on this corner I used to have my air fryer but I switched it up and added the juicer because we do use this side a lot when we make juice so I'm not going to add a lot of things to this side so i decided to add this arrangement on this side but then i was not feeling it so <laughs> i did end up taking it out So for this side of my kitchen, um, this counter space is the longest counter space I have, but we do utilize everything. My kids' snacks are in there, bread. I did add the air fryer to this side, so I'm just going to add a few details, um, full details, and that's about it. Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights And I I really wanna know, really wanna know So I got these on sale like oh, a couple of years ago at Target and I never used them <laughs> and I was like I even forgot I had them so I was like why not add it to this um anthropology little planter which guys by the way my medium one freaking broke and like it fell and it like shattered I did post it on my like Instagram stories I was like so upset but I'm just waiting for it to go on sale so we purchase it because right now it's a little pricey so high trust in our wings to fly sometimes we're crashing down but we get up and start from the ground and i i really want to know really want to know if i let me Keep on searching for my highs You can say I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling
but yeah this is how it turned out i did add that little plug-in from um bath and body works to make it smell like full in my house <laughs> which by the way i have the garbage cans literally right in that corner so it kind of like you know but anyway i decided to add it over here this little um the planter just because I didn't know what to put there for the moment i'm adding this pumpkin as well i'm just keeping this section as is i'm just incorporating a couple of pieces because i will be adding halloween to it i don't know if i'm gonna remove everything and just make it all halloween like i usually do or just like incorporate small pieces So I added my new crock pot right on top of here, which by the way, guys, I already have a crock pot that I barely use, but my husband figured like, because I love everything white, he might as well start like adding the Jupiter Moore, um, appliances to my collection. <laughs> I don't know, but yes, um, I guess I will be adding that one, the old one to my yard sale for next summer. All right, guys, this sign, i just love the sign of my kitchen wall i did add mackenzie child to my collection so i just keep my anthropology and mackenzie child on this shelf from kirkland's and i really don't want to move anything around so what i'm gonna do is just add remove the greenery and just try to incorporate some full ones but I really want to just keep this side as is. So let me know down below in the bottoms, guys, how what y'all think so far. Should I make more videos of me cleaning as I decorate at the same time? Um, I just tend to have a hard time filming things because I'm not sure what to film. There's so many YouTubers with amazing and beautiful homes that, to be honest, sometimes I get discouraged. But I try my best because I love filming my home decor. I just want to thank everyone who has been subscribing and liking and commenting. I just want to say thank you and if you haven't subscribed please subscribe i would love to grow my channel and yeah guys um just let me know down below what um yeah i want to see next but most likely it's guys it's halloween from there from here on it's legit halloween So this is how this side turned out. I kind of like it. I added the little pumpkin right there. I really want to get a Mackenzie Chow um, pumpkin to match, <laughs> but they're a little pricey guys, but I, it's just, it's very pretty. So um, yeah, once again, thank you for watching and please let me know down below in the comments what you think. Till next time.